Hi, my name is Donald Adebaya. Guess what we'll be looking at today? E-wallet. I know most of H2I members love to hear e-wallet when it comes to do with um, dollars. So let's head up straight away. Um, you click on your browser and then you type in your Helping Hands International. You log in. And then the same account that is in associate is what we'll still be looking at. Okay, from here I'll jump into my account for security reasons. And here we are in our, like I said before, this is what we'll be looking at, our e-wallet section. We'll be seeing your transaction history, your e-wallet balance, how to transfer your fund, and how to withdraw to your local bank. Now for those of you that watched my previous tutorial, you discovered that in the total balance of this account, there was no money, it was 0 .0, 0 0.0 here. It was showing two referrals and 0, 0.0 US dollars. That was the database error, which was corrected and then $16 came back. If you look over here, you discover that this account now have $1. And if you look here and I see transfer fund by uh, I think that should be ice web design to refer lower at the buyer and you can see the date it was yesterday's date so I just transferred one dollars into this person's account just for this tutorial that we're going to do so I'll be transferring the dollar back into my account so that we can also be able to transfer and see how it is easily done and if you followed my last tutorial you discovered that this was there but now we have to and you can always view all or you come here and you click on transaction history and over here see that we have sender's name divided by receiver's name i should design credit zero and the debit and this is the one I sent yesterday from my web designs to a fair and the buyer. See it's credit now is one dollars, no debit. Transfer fund by I web designs to a do at buyer. See the dates. Alright, so that is how you see your transaction history. Now to view your balance, you just click on e-wallet balance and to show you the amount you have you know in your dashboard is we saw where we have our e-wallet account showing us one dollar still the same thing that you have over here so now if we go down to the e-wallet transfer e-wallet fund transfer this is where you make your transfer to other accounts that is other h2i accounts if you want to transfer your fund once you click on e-wallet section you come down to e-wallet fund transfer I'm going to click on there and as you can see it says e-wallet balance is one dollars and then it says enter recipient user ID that is the user name of the person that you want to send your money to that is whatever dollars you want to send now this part is where I want you to pay serious attention because if you make a mistake here, you send money into somebody else's account that you might not know or you might not be able to trace. So first thing you do, when you come into the box, you enter the username of your recipient. For example, by transferring back to Ice Web Designs, I'm going to enter Ice Web Designs. Now, once you have entered the username, make sure you click out of the box like this and you see this scrolling we load and then search the database for the name of this user as you can see now it has brought out the username as adebayo abiyade now once you have confirmed that this name corresponds with this username that's when you can proceed but if it doesn't correspond then you need to take a pause go back click enter the username and make sure that it's a username for example if it doesn't show up click inside this box 
and click out again to reload that is almost like you're telling it to reload once you click inside and you click out you're telling it to reload so if you want you can even do this like three times for you to be sure that that's the actual name because when it comes to dollars you don't joke with it so now over here it says enter amount to transfer so you click inside the box and for sure it's one dollar they are going to transfer because that is what you have over here if you have more than that you know you can still transfer more i'm just using this as an example so once you are done you come here and then you enter your transaction password the one you fill in when you fill your form so i'm going to enter mine now so after en entering the transaction password you just click on transfer so it asks you e wallet fund transfer confirmation confirm user id username ice web designs confirm amount to transfer one dollars once you are sure of this then you can click on transfer which i will do now and you will see it says fund transferred successfully so we have successfully transferred this fund to ice web designs this is still tells you here fund transferred successfully now if you look at your balance it's showing us 0.00 usd that means it has actually gone into ice web designs account now if you now want to view your transaction you click on this and it will take you straight to where you will view the transactions that you have done from here as you can see now it says e-wallet transaction history now you know if you come here it's giving you the whole transaction history but here it shows you the e-wallet transaction history so if you look at it fund was transferred from iceweb iceweb designs and it was sent back to iceweb designs so that's the credit and the debit and if you see the status it shows you paid paid so if iceweb design should check his account now and discover that one dollars have been transferred into his account so now let's look at the last part which is your withdrawal withdrawing your e-wallet from your account into your local bank all right if you look here now it says withdrawal request request amount no data available in this table because no withdrawal have been made with this account but for you to be able to withdraw your dollars into your local bank then you come up here and click new request it loads and then open the form where you will fill in all the necessary information that are meant to be entered so as you can see our e-wallet balance is still 0.00 usd now over here it says note admin charge of four percent will be levied for all withdrawals and also note that the minimum withdrawal you can make is 50 usd so if you don't have up to 50 dollars you cannot transfer to your local bank so now imagine you have 50 dollars to transfer and four percent will be removed from this 50 dollars that will be like two dollars we go out of this 50 dollars if you have 100 that would be like four dollars we go out of this for those mathematicians you can do your calculations and you will see right so if you remember in my last tutorial or in one of my tutorials where we edited our account i told you to update all your informations as you can see those informations we updated are what is showing here now so for those of you that your account have not been updated follow my tutorial on editing your account and update all the necessary things that are meant to be updated here especially your bank account number and the bank name because whatever thing you are doing here goes straight into that account so if we scroll down the next thing i want to explain to you is what we call the swift code now what is a swift code swift code is an international code that identifies a particular bank worldwide it's also called a bank 
Identification Code BIC. This switch code consists of 8 to 11 characters. When you go to your banks, you can ask them to explain more on the switch code. That's not my job. So the switch code is what you will get from your bank and then you enter it here. And once you are done with that, you enter the amount that you want to send. Definitely we know it should be from $50. And then you can put a description if you want. Let's say maybe um, to IceWeb. And then you must always enter your transaction code. Once you have entered your transaction code, all you just do is to click on submit. So any information that you have not filled properly, you see this box here, will ask you to fill the particular code that is missing out. So once you have done that, it will send the money into your local bank. But remember, you have to wait for some days before the money goes into your account so that you don't say you have sent your dollars and it has not entered your account you have to wait some banks might even delay more than usual so you have to be patient and wait for your dollars to go in so you don't need to start calling the leaders or calling your uplines that you have lost your money or your money have not gone into your bank but the main thing is make sure you follow all these procedures properly and everything will go well as you have planned it so when you get to your bank to get your swift code you can ask other questions like their own levy or if they are going to do any other thing or if you need anything that will help you out with your transfer from your e-wallet account and they will give you all the necessary details that you need so once you are done make sure you always log out of your account click on your name over here and then you click on log out thank you for listening i remain your tutor and your IT consultant, Donald Adebayo.